So I'd like to start a new short series of videos on what's happening in my robotics class. And even though I'm about a month into the semester, we're just now getting into the actual building and programming of the robots. Because we spent the first couple weeks just kind of learning to program in general. And it's pretty impressive what the students have already learned. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do with a robot. One of the first things that we have to do is organize and sort the kits, which is not always the most exciting, but it gives them an idea of what's actually in the kit. So I highly recommend that you have an extras bin for anything that anybody finds that they have extras of or that they're missing, they can check the extras bin. Um, right now there's chargers in here and a bunch of spare pieces. Um, and also, I printed out one of these for everyone. It's kind of a sorting guide that I believe I found through the Lego website. It says how your kit should be organized. So that's the plan for today. Let's see how it goes. So at times I may have my camera, I may be talking to it and saying, right now the students are doing this. And then I may go to you guys and say, okay, can you tell me what you're working on? I may ask you are some you questions. Filming? I am filming right now. Oh, wow. How much programming experience do you have? Um, I've had a little bit. I've worked with Scratch a bit before, but this is, um, I've learned a lot doing this. What's one of the more uh, exciting things that you've learned? I've given a little answer to the answer box and mm -hmm. then I'll tell the story what to do next. Well, not, I had to code the sound for this first scene to turn off, um, no matter if you chose the first option or the second option. Mm -hmm. um, it took me quite a while to figure out. Awesome. Did you kind of figure it out just through trial and error? Did you check websites, YouTube? Um, I just sort of scrolled through blocks. Like I knew sort of what I needed. Um, I just didn't know where exactly to find all of them, so I just looked through until I did. Check under operators. And you're going to have to use the blank equals blank block. So see so if you can figure it out from there. All right, thanks. What does a sensing block do? It's when you do something, then it triggers something in the program that like kind of answers what you're doing. So you made a game? Yes, I made a game. Yeah. <laughs> Garrett kind of got the short end of the deal. Uh, this was not one that was very organized at the end of last semester because of time, uh, but he's committed. He's ready to, to yeah, get started kinda. on it. Yeah. <laughs> that one is kind of generally what you want it to look like. Um, whoops, and then you've got the other pieces down there. So mine's a little fresher, but still disorganized. I'm trying to get this here. Ah, and I've already made a mess. Robotics went well. We'll probably spend part of next week finishing up organizing. We'll check in next week to see how the building and the beginning of the programming begins to go. We will see you then. I have a student staring at me while I record myself though. A little awkward. Ha <laughs> ha.